Hello guys and welcome back to another match experience on the channel here. I'm James, I'm doing bad on right now. Um, but yeah, I'm recording this about half eight in the morning for a 5.30 kickoff. Probably wonder why I'm recording this so early. Now I've got to jump off to work before the game. Uh, so I thought I'd better quickly uh, do the intro now. So uh, yeah, here Brighton away is coming up and it's safe to say I am excited. Uh, every Reading fan is excited. Let's be honest, it is our big day out. It's our big day out. We're taking 2,049 down there, I think it is. And let's be honest, we have a chance of winning. Brighton have a chance of winning. This is probably one of the more even games that you feel like should be one-sided. I don't know if that makes sense. Obviously, coming from a Brighton point of view, they're going to think they're going to win. Coming from our point of view, we think we should win. You know what's going to happen. It's going to be a big clash. It's going to be a draw. It's going to be a nil-nil ball draw. Um, no, it shouldn't be that. But yeah, it's going to be a really exciting day either way. Uh, Brighton, it's a place we've been to this year already. Uh, obviously in the Cup, we won there. And I feel like we can pick up the three points. I don't feel like we will, but I feel like we can. I feel like we have a massive chance to go and prove a statement today. Obviously we're on Sky, so hopefully the pressure's not on us. Whenever we're on Sky, we don't play too good. Uh, so hopefully we can change that around this time. Um, but yeah, team news though, McShane's meant to be starting again, so fingers crossed he will be, because obviously he has a massive impact to our defence, and if he's not there, we look a little bit shaky at the back. Uh, Joey Vandenberg's meant to be back in the squad as well, that's good. Um, I like Joey, you guys know I like Joey. <sighs> Big Joey fan. Uh, Kermigan as well, hopefully he'll be back in the starting eleven for this game, hopefully him and McCleary can start up top, so uh, yeah. It's going to be it for this little bit of the video, um, like goal for this one, 50 likes obviously, uh, going to be keep targeting that. Uh, every away game, and I think we go for 45 at home every time. So, uh, yeah, 50 likes if you can hit that on this video, would be uh, perfect. Um, don't forget to tell me as well what you thought about game, in the game down in the comment section below. And obviously, if you're a Brighton fan, tell me what you thought of the game. Uh, obviously, I haven't been yet, <laughs> so you can tell. Um, so, I'm really pumped up, and you know, I'm coming into this one fresh minded, not seeing Reading for, a cup, uh, for about a week and a half now, obviously, with the Huddersfield game being delayed to a Tuesday. Haven't seen them for a while, so uh, expectations have gone a little bit higher again. Um, but no, you know, if you're a Brighton fan, tell me what you thought down in the comment section below of the game and what you thought of Red and Style, really. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Let's go into the video. Come on, boys. Arrived in Brighton now. Uh, you know, we find the journey a bit hard, didn't we? What was it like? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, it was what you had to say. I mean, uh, yeah. Uh, so obviously, we're there for the Premier League, Bridge League, Trick and Score. Yeah, mate. 2 0 Final result probably going to be like five nil to Brighton or something. But <laughs> well, you don't. We've had that this season with uh, Fulham. But no, I don't know. Reckon, like I said, one one in the preview. Should be a hard game. Should be interesting. The Amex right there. Like I said in the last one, it's a small Wembley. It's nice. It's a nice ground. It's a really nice modern ground. But yeah, come on in, boys. Let's go. Soon see you. Right, so Jake's here. Jake, what's the score picture, mate? One nil. It's going to be tight, but I reckon we'll nick it. Danko gets the score. Come on, boys. Team sheet there, Al Absi, Gunter, Blackett, McShane, Moore, Evans, Williams, Much, Behrens, McCleary, and Kermigan. Decent start in 11. Uh, Blackett coming to left back. Don't be worried about that, Adam. Uh, yeah. Hopefully we can uh, get back in left back. It's a bit worrying. How you doing, mate? Alright, oh, how's it going? Sub to these guys, these are legends! Alright, go on in, Jake, score fiction, go. I've already said mine, but I've got one new still, one new coming. Dean? I'm gonna go for a 3 to 1 ready. He's a twat. Come on, boys! Yes! Quick 
Don't spoil me, Amen! Yep, stop spoil me, Amen! Yep, stop spoil me, Amen! Come on, boys. Let's hope and pray. Let's hope and pray. Press at the moment. Wiping us off the pitch, really, so far. We have done nothing. But been fantastic. Anthony Crockhart, really, has been a star for them. I'll say we're missing Kelly as well. Dean said it just a second ago as well. We're missing you and Kelly. Good feel, bar on the attack, though, no, luckily. Still, though, no, we've, we've got to just hope that we get to half time now. Come on. Jake, Jake, yeah. What do you reckon? Goal? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Who's over it? I don't know. Like, it's McCleary. It's McCleary. Go on. Oh no, it's Williams. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Ah, that's... Should have buried it, should have buried it. One along with the keeper. Pulled up with the goal though. One nil by them. Fuck. Yeah. Half time then. I don't know. We played alright. But then we didn't. First half we were alright. In the second half of the first half, we're pretty shocking. Jay, what do you think? It was a bit shit, to be honest. Like, we just kept giving the ball away. Knockout was a real threat. And, uh, yeah, they deserve to be 1 0 up. But hopefully, we can turn around the second half. Adam? Yeah, not bad. Um, hopefully, the second half of the character is a bit better. 1 0 down on sleep, but hopefully, let's get it on there. Atmosphere, we've got no atmosphere. Yeah, no. Big, big, big attendances have no atmosphere. Oh, can I just say, yeah, Gunter, fucking get 10 hours of him. Gunter's shit. Bristol City away. From our own corner. From our own corner. From our corner. They've done that from our they're corner. They're showing it, don't How have we allowed them to do that? From our own corner. Good finish. Good finish, <laughs> Alright guys, just got back now from the game. Um, yeah, I'll be honest, Brighton played us completely off the pitch. Um, their attack was too good for us. I'll admit it, Brighton's attack was way too good for us. I thought, chances-wise, we kind of were a little bit similar. Uh, we had a few chances here and there. Beerings, Williams, um, Williams off the line as well. Um, you know, we had chances, but Brighton were just way too strong for us in the end. Let's be honest, they were fantastic. And they'll be going up this year, without a doubt. Um, counter-attacking side that was very, very good. Knockout was good for them. He really did do black it up quite often. Um, and Gunter as well. He did Gunter a bit too much. But I thought at the end of the day, you know, it's one of them games. It's the last one of the massive run that we've had where we've played tough teams. And now we can look ahead to Wolves, Rotherham, teams like that that are going to come into the Medeski. We've got to look up and find them three points from somewhere. And we really need to kind of get out of this little slouch momentum that we've had recently. Um, but yeah, I mean, tell me what you guys thought down in the comments section below. I know a few Brighton fans are going to come on in, pipe up and all things like that. But I mean, at the end of the day, they were the better team and they played us off the pitch. So 
you know, I'm going to admit it. So, um, yeah, cheers for watching, guys. Obviously, we're going to be coming out with the Wolves stuff coming up soon. Here we're doing a little bit with Scott, obviously, who we know who used to do the podcast with. And um, it's been in a preview before. So, yeah, cheers, guys, for watching. Uh, yeah, I've been James. We'll see you guys all in the next episode of the Match Day Experience coming out soon. So, yeah, see you guys then. Peace.